Welcome to my out of box review of the Masterpiece Models Waco CG4A Glider. This is at 1 to 35th scale, and it's obviously from their uh, World War II series, um, their Masterpiece Models do. Um, and this is my first um, World War II model I've built for them. After this review, we'll obviously go through the, the whole build process and we'll be having some fun with that. But um, as you can see, the box here is actually, it's a medium-sized box, but don't be fooled, this, fooled, this model is actually really large. Um, it's got a really nice slip on here, really nice quality, good artwork, and um, it's got some info there too um, on the glider itself. And <laughs> these uh, this wording is all embossed too and all the, all the markings, so quite nice quality and on uh, the opposite side here we got some uh, CG representations of the finished model so uh, we'll crack this one open and we'll have a closer look at what you get with the model kit so this is what the box looks like open and as you can see it's packaged really quite nicely uh, we'll take away some of this here uh, we'll show you basically what's in the kit and um, we'll sort of try and break it down from there. So the first thing I come across is the photo etch fret that they supply and uh, it's got really incredible detail on there. Um, that won't be a problem at all to use this. I'm not foreseeing any issues at all. It's even got the Masterpiece Models logo there in case you're doubting where it came from. Um, incredibly fine, fine detail on that really nice piece. And further on, we've got our first couple of bags of parts. Um, some of the wing sections on the left here and we got some what looks like more structural pieces and a clear part here. Really nice detail so far. Already heaps of heaps of parts. Uh, we'll break down those bags in a second. Uh, and here we have some of the wing sections and they've got really nice engraved detail all through them and they sort of, um, from what I can see, they fit together really easy. A little tiny bit of flash but this is so thin that you just literally tear it off. I mean it's like, it's like paper. I mean that's not going to be an issue at all. Just a wee cut and a file down. And um, as you can see, the fit is pretty, pretty good. It's sort of a cross section there of what the part looks like. So, um, and we got the other one right here as well. And um, I mean, you can sort of see the size of this when these are side by side. Um, yeah, really nice. Nice and st very structural too, so sort of very, very rigid. And um, here is a sort of a generic detail part here. It's on a bit of a sprue and lots of flash on here, but that's just because these parts are so detailed and it's so, it's so thin that like, I can look, just tear it off with my finger and then just like clean it up with a... Uh, like a sanding stick or something like that. So, um, I mean, I've, I've built obviously built master kit, masterpiece models kits before, and they they have this kind of flash, but it just it's so thin that it just tears off. It's incredibly easy to clean up. Um, really nice uh, ribbed detail in here too. Um, and further down. We have uh, more of these parts, a whole lot of them, <laughs> and um, this section here, don't know what this section is for, but it's got um, brass rod um, basically embedded in the mould, and again some more of that flash which just comes off so damn easy, it's, it's just kind of fun really, it's like um, popping um, packaging fun, you know the plastic stuff with the buttons on it. Anyway, 
and it's quite quite sturdy. So get those out. Just careful not to lose any anything. And find a, a secret panel here. Um, we got a really nice layout actually of um, a couple more detail parts there. And got a really nice uh, layout on the bottom here for these for these parts. As you can see, we got fuselage parts. Um, this part here is for the, uh, I'm assuming the cockpit, the lower half of the cockpit, and there's heaps of detail in there. And right here, a clear part for the canopy. Um, really nice. I mean, no, no bubbles or anything like that. That's gonna look. That's gonna look great. Be interesting to mask off, but and we've got interior fuselage parts. Again, really nice detail, nice and rigid too. Sit down in here. Very secure model, and again, just pop that out. Easy peasy. The other interior part there. More uh, tail piece. The tail piece is there, I think. And uh, we'll take out this frame. Another interior part there. So, really cool idea with this frame. Keeps everything really secure. Uh, we've got a few brass rods here. Um, these are quite fine ones. Don't quite know the measurement off hand. And we've got a couple of hollow ones here too. We'll secure on a wee baggie. Piece of clear strip. I'll be finding out what all these are soon. And right here there's a uh, this must be instructions. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't actually know what that is. And of course, right at the bottom, we got a big, nice sheet of decals. And I'll try and get as much detail on this as possible. Really nice. Sorry, I'm just having a look at these, they're really, really cool, and oh, this is exciting. So, you probably find it a bit hard to see, but there are a lot of uh, white painted decals here. Uh, the Fighting Falcons, Greenville Schools, uh, Greenville, Michigan. You've got these, and you've got um, tail numbers here, and very similar to the MOAB kit that I just built the uh, decals were actually all textured so that they looked painted and that's what these are and uh, really nice that wood looks really cool I love that that looks great that looks absolutely fantastic nice textured um, to mimic paint or, or wood grain that looks really cool very realistic I love that Really looking forward to using that. And, uh, last but not least, in here, there's a bit of a brass rod. But uh, that was the review. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for uh, my usual build updates over the next month. And I'm really looking forward to doing this. It's something a little different for me, and it's definitely really exciting. And I just want to thank you, John again and the rest of the team at Masterpiece Models for um, sending this beautiful highly detailed amazing model kit to me and uh, yeah the sky's the limit